Hey, what's up guys? So today I wanna talk about something that's gonna make your life way easier when you're working in DaVinci Resolve, and that is basically how you can create looks, how to change your look very quickly, very efficiently. So this is sort of related to a project that I was working on recently, and that kind of gave me the idea to make this video to help you guys out so that when you're working in a situation where you suddenly have to shift gears, it's very easy. Uh, and like I said, I was working on a, on a film recently and then the client sort of, when the film was about 90, 95% done, they had a, a handful of scenes where they wanted to just kind of shift gears. They said they want to go in a very different direction. They were kind of going with their gut. They want to, you know, change the scene completely for the most part. And, you know, in the past, when I was a beginner, that would have been something that would have been, you know, really frustrating. It would have taken me forever to do. Um, but when I learned to use groups, it became something that was very easy, not a big deal. I know you've been in that kind of situation before, and if you haven't, you will be one day with a client or even just on one of your projects. And so what are groups? So for those of you that don't know groups, it's basically a feature where you can grab a bunch of clips um, or an entire scene, create a new group, name it, and then whatever adjustments you make to that group will apply it to all of the shots within that group. And so you can use that for a lot of different reasons. It might be, you know, maybe you just want to, if you're a colorist or you're an editor or a DP and you want to show your client, you know, a few different things, you can create multiple groups and then maybe you have look one, look two, look three, for example. Um, now, I will say this, this is not intended to be something that you know you create a group and I am going to show you how to use them in a second. So just hang on, stay with me. Um, it's not meant to be something where you know you create a group and then you grade your entire scene quickly or you grade an entire film using a group. It's really meant, the, the workflow is important and it's really meant to be something where they're used after you've already gone through, graded a film or a scene, you've balanced the shots, everything matches um, and you have, you know, preferably a neutral look, nothing that has a very heavy grade. And again, it's part about, it's, it's all about workflow. So have a neutral balanced match scene. And then on top of that, you create a group for that scene, name it, and then you go into the post group section and you intervene to resolve. And then let's say you wanna make it, you know, a cooler contrastier look, you do that. And then if you wanna have a second look, you can add an additional node you know, name that one look too. Then maybe you want to go in an opposite direction. Maybe you want it to be cooler and kind of lower contrast. You can apply those looks. And then it's as easy as toggling the two groups on and off to compare them. You know, in the past, I would have gone through before looks and I would have, you know, gone through every single shot one at a time, made adjustments to every single shot. I would have, you know, sometimes I remember that taking you know, a few different hours. And then if I didn't do the proper workflow, I would have basically had to go in, undo a bunch of stuff, delete nodes, undo the grade, and then apply the new look, the new direction that the client wanted to go in. Since I learned about groups now, I always have a workflow where I tend to go through, balance a film, balance a scene, make it somewhat neutral, maybe apply a little bit of the look, but I won't go all the way with the look. And then I make sure that, you know, I have a proper node, tree a proper node structure is important and for those of you that aren't familiar with node trees or node structures check out this video here but that's important to have a proper workflow and node structure so that you can go back and undo certain steps in the process you know undo the contrast undo whatever you need to do um, and which is how i work now and so that if something happens where i need to go in different directions it's a very easy five minute fix create a group create a node apply the adjustments to that node and then something that used to take me a few hours now takes me a few minutes and also the clients like it they're impressed how quick i am and it makes my life a lot easier and it also allows for better creativity so that's it quick and easy so now make sure that you have a proper node structure make sure that you have an organized tree again and really it's all about your workflow it's all about your structure your node trees so that you can grade quickly, efficiently, change gears, be a very flexible, very agile colorist in DaVinci Resolve, 
And not only will that make your life easier for your personal projects, but if you work with clients, you know, you'll be able to basically jump all over the place, do whatever they want, and it's not gonna be a burden, it's not gonna be a hassle. Um, so that's it, hopefully that's helpful. Like, subscribe, and I will see y'all later.